Hello, everybody. This is called Giraffes Can't Dance. The author is Giles Andretti and Guy Parker Rees. The author writes the words. I don't know who the illustrator is. Maybe the illustrator is Guy Parker Rees. He's the one that draws these awesome pictures. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. And this is called the spine. The spine holds all the pages together. Giraffes can't dance. Have you guys been to the zoo before and seen giraffes at the zoo? I have. They have long necks. Oh yeah, I was right. Illustrated by Guy Parker Reese and written by Giles Andreas. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was so long and slim. Look how long his neck is. But his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. <laughs> Look at the monkeys. The monkeys are my favorite at the zoo. Oh, look, at there's a ladybug. Another one. Oh, I wonder what that is. There's a turtle. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Aw, poor giraffe. Dirt. Let me move over. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Aww. Gerald can't dance. There's the jungle dance. Look at all the animals. They're having fun. That's a big old party. There's zebras, lions, and tigers, jaguars, and monkeys, and snakes, and lizards. They're having fun. Look at the hippo and the elephant. <laughs> and they have instruments. They have bongos and a xylophone. They're having fun at that jungle dance. <laughs> the warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. <laughs> They're having a ball. The chimps all did a cha-cha with very Latin feet, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. <laughs> They're so cute. Look, cha-cha. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the door, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly foot. I mean, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Aw, oh, that's not nice. They're teasing him. Mm -hmm. I bet he's feeling sad. Look at his legs. He wants to dance, too. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clod. Mm, poor Gerald. So he crept off from the dance floor <clears throat> and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. 
the moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Oh, that is beautiful. Excuse me, coughed the cricket, who seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. There's the cricket. He's helping Gerald make him feel better. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. Mm. Cricket's making me feel better. It's getting some confidence. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. I think Gerald's dancing. <laughs> Cricket's making music for him. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Wow, look at Gerald. Okay, Gerald. Dancing with the stars. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Aw, he's so happy now. Look at the birds. There's an owl, a bat. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived with, while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. No. Yeah. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Baboon, he's happy too. They say he's the best dancer they ever seen. <laughs> he's posing. Look at him. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply toured around and finished with a bow. He had a good time. Look at the all threw flowers on him. Yay, Gerald. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end.